Did I just go online and spend a ton of money on my chinchilla? Oh wait, I did. And for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this huge box of goodies that I ordered and I'll also be handing it to my chinchilla to see how she likes it. First of all, if you're new to my channel, then hello, I have a chinchilla named Pandora which I film all sorts of videos on and I post every Sunday morning so stay tuned. Now let's get straight into the video. So if you're wondering where I got all my products from, I got it from a website called AZ Chins. It's a great website where they basically sell chinchilla products at very good prices compared to the pet stores. If you're interested, I definitely recommend you go check them out. So altogether, I bought all my stuff for about $70 including the shipping. The first products I will be showing you is bamboo finger traps. As you can see, they are made out of bamboo and weave together. Um, I love the colours, they're very cool. Um, they seem very steady, they're about the width of a finger as the name suggests, bamboo finger traps. My chinchilla Pandora loves this toy and I always see her chewing away at it, which is very cute. Um, it's a good short term toy, it lasts Pandora about 2 days, but depending on your chinchilla it might be different. But overall I'd probably give this one 4.5 stars out of 5, just because it doesn't last that long, but otherwise it's a fantastic toy. The next products I got was crushed rose hips. The difference between crushed rose hips and uncrushed rose hips are that uncrushed rose hips have a very fine thorn in the middle of the rose hip which is enclosed inside and it sort of looks like a moss. Previously I gave my chinchilla uncrushed rose hips so I had to cut it up but now it's crushed rose hips. It is very good because I can offer it to Pandora more often and she gets treats more often but just in a smaller amount and it saves me the trouble of having to cut them. So rose hips are one of Pandora's favourite treats, you'll literally go crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure most chinchillas love rose hips, so if you're trying to train your chinchilla or something, um, that would be a very good option to bribe them with rose hips. I also did a video on how to quickly bond with your chinchilla, so if you're interested, feel free to go check that out. The next item is also a treat, I got one ounce of rose buds, and these are dried flowers so they are very crisp. I've never offered these to Pandora but they smell very good. <laughs> so when I first gave it to Pandora, she seemed a bit reluctant because she had never tried them before, but after a little while, she loves them. And especially because they have such a strong and sweet smell, Pandora can smell it from very far away and she'll literally run across and get the rosebuds. The next item I'm going to show you that I got was 10 natural pumice stones. Now it is very important you offer your chinchilla something to chew because their teeth never stop growing throughout their lifetime so they need to constantly grind it down. These pumice stones seem pretty solid and when I gave it to Pandora she immediately started to bite it and when the dust came off and fell onto the ground she started to roll in the dust that was on the ground which was kind of funny to watch but also very cute at the same time. And she loves destroying these things, it is absolutely crazy to watch. I'll probably give these a 4 out of 5 because yes, while they are very good, they are also kind of messy, they get dust everywhere and it doesn't last very long. But other than that, Pandora loves it. The next item on the list is Chinchilla Pine Chew Sticks. I got 50 of these. These were a very good deal because they are simply like popsicle sticks but they are made out of pine. I'm not sure what material the popsicle sticks are made out of but these are made out of pine which is safe for chinchillas. Um, these are also a very affordable way to give toys to chinchillas to let them chew their teeth because you can get them literally like very very cheap. Um, Pandora surprisingly actually loves these so much, she chews them in about 2-3 to three days and I can keep offering these sticks to her because I got so many of them. The next item is a chin apartment. So I wasn't really sure what this was when I ordered it, it didn't have a picture so I was just like, let's just order it and see what it is. 
So it turned out to be a little wooden hut for chinchillas. I think this is very good because it gives them the option to hide inside or jump on top of it. Hey, two things in one! <laughs> I'm not sure which type of wood it is made out of, but it is very sturdy and I'm deciding to put it at the bottom of the cage. Pandora adores this little hut so much and now she has two huts to choose from, one on the upper level and one on the bottom level. Um, I'll probably rank this one 5 out of 5 because it is a very good little hut for the chinchilla to just snuggle inside and it also comes at a great price. The next thing I got was one ounce of papaya treats. Um, once again, these are treats and should not be mixed with the regular pellets you feed your chinchillas. So these are basically small hardened cubes of papaya and I'm sure Pandora will love it. But unfortunately, these contain a lot more sugar than the other treats I mentioned before. So you should only give these to your chinchilla once a week, otherwise it might impact their health. Next item on the list is Fuller's Earth Dust. I got two pounds of this and it is a great deal, definitely worth the price. It only cost me three dollars versus compared to the store I would have to buy three pounds for ten dollars so you can see it is a pretty good deal. Again I give this one five out of five because it is such a good product and I am absolutely in love with it. The next item I got was a quarter pound of drilled bulk naked cottonwood. Wow, that was a mouthful. But anyway, um, basically they are drilled. They have little holes in them so I can make my own toys out of them the way I want them to be. Also, a bit of information about cottonwood. It is a light and soft wood, which is very easy for the chinchilla to chew. And also a point to keep in mind when getting wood for your chinchilla, make sure it is safe. I'll probably give this one a 4.5 out of 5 because it was a little pricey for me, otherwise it is great. The very last item I got was 10 pounds of Timothy hay. Now this was a lot of hay and I did not expect it to be this much, but it is a very good quality hay and the stems are so green and they look so fresh. Pandora loves this hay and I always see her chewing on it. And I always put the hay in some of her toys so she gets a little surprise sometimes. And this is so much hay, it will supply me for a long time. I would definitely give this hay a 5 out of 5 because it is amazing quality and 100% worth the price. Well, on that note, this concludes my video. If you spoil your chinchilla or your other pets like me, please share it in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my uploads every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you again very soon. Bye!